Companion planters, and you understand about the whole diaspora. I was just talking about companion planting this morning. Okay. I was trying to explain to somebody that you don't need fertilizers and you don't need chemicals. You no, don't no. need. You've got pest control, and it's in nature. Right. If you just plant correctly, you can not only cycle your plants. In other words, one plant this season, this is grow season. If you grow it there, is going to feed the next season's grow, mm -hmm. which is a different plant. So, and that's the way that we recycle companion growing this way as well as this way. Right. Have you have you been on the same property a long time? I have, yes. Yeah, you see, you get used to your own garden and your you own do. things. You so, do, and, and... It's all about an experience of four <laughs> seasons in a year, and you, you remember what happened yeah. the last year. Precisely, it's so yes. important. And it's I think important. that one of the most important Sorry, things about growing is no, if you're going to be growing in the same place it's over and over, no-till beds. Yes. Mm. No-till no beds. Just beds. keep building Agreed. those beds up with mulch yeah. and mulch and mulch. Yeah. So now, yes. Dan, hello, Dan, I hope you're watching. <laughs> we go growing with my buds. The girls are doing growing with yeah. plants. Let's see, you can all grow. Yeah. Joe's yeah. got some plants. She's the most I'm first six virgin grower ever. Yeah. 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 Popped it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy so over there has got one plant too. So yeah. One plant too. Growing with our, <laughs> growing with our buds. Is that one or two? <laughs> <laughs> also. Because no, I often have one plant too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seven. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You've been growing cannabis all along, yeah? So I actually started growing cannabis about 20 years ago when my father was diagnosed with skin cancer. Oh, that'll do it. And, you know, and in those days, I wasn't really, I had no clue. I was really, I was I think 20 dumb. years ago, not many people no. did really. Think. Right. So I was arrested a few times getting it to him, but basically what was happening was, it was skin cancer and it was spreading so fast mm. and he didn't have medical aid so he had to go to government hospitals and the government hospital threw his eyelid away. Mm. You know, there were certain things that happened. Yeah. You what? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So threw his eyelid away and threw a certain part of the skin that was critical to him being grafted back together again. They just threw it away. How old was he when this was going on? Uh, like in his no. 50s or something? Yeah, so my dad died at about 58. It was oh, about, he was, yeah, so he was... Early 60, that's too early. Yeah, that's way too early. Right, way too early. But and that, the, that's what got you into the healing properties of cannabis. Pretty much, it's yeah. It's such a common thread, a lot. It, it, is, is. it really is. All of those haters. Exactly. I'm the minute sorry, they yeah, get exactly. sick, they start. I'm convinced that I gave my father five extra years on yeah. his life. Yeah. I'm convinced. And quality and, years. You know, and all I was doing was making him a tea out of buku, alfalfa, cancer bush, all those plants that we all know to fight cancer these mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. with the cannabis in it. You know, and I was making him a tea and shipping it down to him to make sure. And we were using it because he used to say to me, he used to say, say baby, I know you weren't in the war. He says, but it feels like it's napalm in my bones. Wow. And like, I don't know what that feels like, but, no. the, but the, the desperation in my father's voice was enough to propel me. That was all I needed. And you mentioned Kanker Can Can Boss, Sutherlandia. Yes. yes. You've been using that forever. Forever. An African we tradition. Have, have forever. Probably goes back further than weed. Exactly. It does. It does. It does. It does. Because yeah. as much as weed has always been there, I mean, I did, mm. my case is similar to these. I started growing when my mom uh, fell ill. Same she was thing. diagnosed Same. with bipolar, and I just couldn't take her being a zombie. You know, because then it took away the character and I wanted something that was an alternative. So just to power up what we've already got yeah. that we use as traditional healers was just like, I know this works. Mm -hmm. I've seen it work before and I can make it work. And when, when, well. you, when you go back 20 years to when you started, were you going to oral tradition? Were you listening to the elders I was, about I still, it? You went I, back to, I still do. I still to do. Omar and, I and Opar. <laughs> so you... And they know, don't they? They know these things. They it's all, it's all kind of been lost. And, and if it wasn't for people like you, exactly. then it would all be lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing is that because it's, it's healing, just, it's yeah. exactly, because it's the passed healing. down uh, from one generation to another, if one generation loses it, then it's gone. And have you got a daughter? I do. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> but you know, that's something that we've noticed uh, time and time again. We've also had two uh, visits to two separate areas of the country talking to farmers and the young guys know everything mm. about weed mm. up until sort of like the age of 30 or so and then the old people know and you can sit down and talk to the old people everybody's over sort of over the age of 70 but in the middle nobody knows much yeah. mm. about it all it's like yeah. it's 
almost a generation and a half, almost two generations, yeah. mm -hmm. that have lost this because of prohibition. Mm -hmm. Li literally the last yes. 78 years. Yeah. Yeah. You then, know, like when Rockefeller started his onslaught on yeah. natural remedies, cannabis was one of those things that was used. Yeah. And completely. in the same in the same in the same sense, I mean in those days there were T V adverts that were heralding yeah. him, the uses of him. Mm -hmm. And as soon as Rockefeller got involved mm -hmm. with his onslaught on, you know, making big pharma one of those things that becomes a billion Billion, billion, billion dollar, billion, yeah. century old money, mo money program. Oh. Look, it's just, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a big money. Like it was one man, one man. <laughs> It's always a man. It's always a man. Hey, yeah, look at Donnie. Give me a Donnie. Give me a Donnie. We've got a ton of people. No, no, no. There's women too. There's women too. No, there are. No, granted, there are. There's women too. We can't just not all men. Not all men. But also some women. Hello, hello. 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 H